Hello, my dearest science nerds and welcome to my channel Let's Chemistry. In two bottles, we see the material results of the two reactions. The first reaction was a failure, consequently, we have only 20 milliliters of crude product collected but with the second reaction, we were able to get 60 milliliters of substance. In the last video, to remove some contaminants, we shacked the crude product with the calcium carbonate solution and stored on the anhydrous calcium carbonate. During the bromination reaction, a few side products are formed and the best way to remove them is fractional distillation. Finally, we received the Vigor column to do a more precise separation of boiling liquids. In the allyl alcohol preparation video, as the final step we carried out a simple distillation, but if we had had a column, the allyl alcohol used for bromination would have been much purer. So, we are going to perform a distillation. In a 3-neck 500 milliliters flask we placed a stir bar anhydrous calcium carbonate and a total 80 milliliters of our crude allyl bromide. We turned on the stirrer, set heat to 150 C and insulated the apparatus with aluminum foil. After a while, the first fraction of distillate started to come over at 66 degrees Celsius. We collected fractions coming from 66 to 69 degrees Celsius and changed the receiving flask. The second fraction was collected, with boiling temperature from 69 to 71 degrees. This is our desired product. To achieve higher purity, we decided to distill the product twice. We discarded the first fraction with a lower boiling point. After we placed the distilled product back to the apparatus and started to heat the flask again. The second time we got just a few drops of lower boiling point liquid, which was discarded, again. Finally, we collected the fraction coming at 70, 71 degrees Celsius. In the end, we collected just 40 milliliters or 53.083 grams of allyl bromide. The yield was low. We did not expect the high yield from the failed reaction, but the second reaction was done fine. The expected yield of the bromination was 82% but ours is much less. So, what's happened? The reason for having low yield is probably that I had to stop the second reaction in the middle of the final step of distillation, and I had to leave the apparatus for three days. The allyl bromide or otherwise 3 bromopropene is a very flammable volatile liquid and some parts of the product could simply evaporate from the vacuum connector. I was disappointed with the results, but 53 grams is more than enough to proceed to the next step. I have some allyl alcohol left and I will retry the reaction later. I will post an update about yield. Meanwhile, as a bonus, I would like to share the story about DMSO, or otherwise dimethyl sulfoxide. Quote from Wikipedia, this colorless liquid is an important polar aprotic solvent that dissolves both polar and nonpolar compounds and is miscible in a wide range of organic solvents as well as water. End of quote. Due to its high boiling point 189 degrees Celsius, this solvent is irreplaceable in some organic reactions. Soon we needed this solvent to perform some very interesting experiments and I had been looking for the most reliable source for it. From the chemical supplier, I had got an unacceptably high price of about 100 US dollars per liter. I found out that DMSO was sold in the regular pharmacy's ODC for 1 US dollar per 100 milliliters. It was much better. Option. I was expecting it to be a 20, 40% solution. Fortunately, water and DMSO do not form an azeotrope and they do have a huge difference in boiling points, which makes them a perfect candidate to separate with simple distillation. Long story short, we assembled an apparatus for simple distillation with a strong heating source. We turned on the cold water circulation in the condenser and started the heating process. To our surprise, the first and the only fraction that came over was boiling at 188, 189. In the bottles from the pharmacy, was pure DMSO, with no water presented. Due to a high temperature, the plastic clamps on the flask melted and I replaced them with metal. Initially, the color of the DMSO had a yellow tint, so distillation was necessary anyway. After the distillation, in the receiving flask crystal clear liquid was collected. Thank you for watching.